Today, we are going to demonstrate how to hang natural wood wall coverings by real wood veneers using Roman Pro 732 Extra Strength Clay Wallpaper Adhesive. Receiving and conditioning the material. First, make sure that your wall covering was delivered undamaged. If damage has occurred to the product, let the carrier know immediately and don't continue with the installation. When storing your wall covering, make sure that it is in a clean, dry, and secure area. We recommend that you store your wall covering in an environment with a preferred humidity of 50% and a stable temperature range of 45 to 85 degrees Fahrenheit. Check the AWI standard for your part of the country. When preparing your wall covering, carefully remove them from the box and lay them face down flat on a table. Let the sheets of wall covering sit for 48 hours. This will help the sheets rest and acclimate to the environment. Preparing the drywall. When preparing the surface for your wall covering, it's important to make sure that the surface is smooth and clean. Moisture content in the wall substrate should be in around 9% or less. This can be checked with a moisture meter if necessary. We'll be applying our wall covering to new drywall that has been primed with Romans Pro 977. If your wall has been previously covered or painted, lightly sand the surface in order to break the seal prior to applying Roman's primer. It's a good idea to strain the primer before application. When priming your wall, make sure that you're following the manufacturer's spread rate and dry time. Preparing for application. You'll notice on the bottom of the back side of each sheet of veneer is a flitch number and a sequence number. It's important that the wall covering is installed from left to right in numerical order. We recommend that you lay your sheets end to end on the floor. End matching is crucial in order to have the wood grain of your veneer align properly. You'll want to make sure that the pieces always match up bottom to bottom or top to top, depending on the preferred orientation of your wood grain. At this point, you'll want to take the measurement of the gross width of your roll of veneer and calculate your nominal width or net width. Factory trimmed edges must not be butt jointed during installation. You'll want to overlap and double cut all your seams with a razor blade. Lightly dampen the back of three sheets of wall covering with a cellulose sponge. Once all the sheets have been lightly dampened, roll the sheets and let sit for 20 minutes while you prepare the wall for application. Application. Once it's time to start hanging your wall covering, draw a vertical line using a level or plumb line at your desired starting point. Feel free to draw all your vertical lines along the entire length of the desired area you wish to cover. Mark your lines at the net width to account for overlap. Now, apply Roman's Pro 732 adhesive evenly on the wall. Cover the length of three sheets of veneer. Beginning from left to right, hang your first piece of veneer, making sure the right edge is following your straight vertical line. Trim off the excess veneer using a straight edge and new razor blade. Starting from the top, hang your next piece of veneer along your second vertical line, but don't press it down yet. It will overlap with the first piece of veneer. Slightly raise the second piece of veneer and align your wood grain to match. 
Once aligned, press the veneer down to remove any air bubbles. Cut away the excess veneer at the top and bottom. Repeat the same process for the third piece of veneer in your sequence. Next, double cut through both pieces of veneer and remove the excess material. Press the seam. Now your wood grain should align perfectly. Once you have three sheets of veneer hung, take a step back and inspect your work. Ensure the client is happy with the consistency of the material before proceeding forward. Once finished, allow 24 hours to pass and then clean up any excess adhesive with a cellulose sponge and clean water. Wipe dry with clean lint-free rag. External Corners Applying veneer to an external corner is done in the same manner as a heavy-duty vinyl wall covering. It is important that you have four to six inches on either side of the bend to prevent spring back. If you are experiencing uneven corners, please contact a Real Wood Veneers LLC distributor for additional instructions. Follow these same steps for internal corners as well. It's important to note that when using veneer on a corner, to only wrap with long grain. Don't try to wrap corners cross grain. Clean up. Now that your wall is covered, simply clean any excess adhesive or dust off with a cellulose sponge and clean water. Make sure you change your water often. Dry the area by lightly rubbing it with a lint-free rag.